Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to restore a damaged and fading emblem on your vehicle. So let's go ahead and get started. To complete this, all you're really going to need is these tools right here. Depending on how your liner is held on, on your vehicle, you're going to need the, either a flathead or a Phillips screwdriver. Then you'll need one of these little pry bars here just to pull the emblem off. And then whatever the color of the background of your emblem is, in this case we're using a black, you want to make sure that you also match the type as far as the finish, whether it be satin, semi-gloss, flat gloss, whatever it may be. But you want to match your color perfect. And then for that, either you can use a spray paint if you want to spray the paint into a cup, or you can use a can of paint, and then obviously you would need a, a small paintbrush to do that. And then next you're going to need a clear coat, whether it be a polyurethane or a lacquer. I like using this Rust-Oleum Triple Thick Glaze because it goes on nice and smooth and it dries very fast. So that's all you'll need to complete this video. You can see here on this emblem, you have a little bit of the remnants of the clear coat still in some spots, but for the most part, it's pretty much been peeled off, broken off, and as a result, the black paint underneath is starting to peel off here as well. So what we're going to have to do is we need to restore that black paint first, then we'll go ahead and apply a clear coat over it to restore it back to the way that it should look as a factory emblem. Now, the crucial thing that you want to do is you want to make sure if you're dealing with another logo, for example, like a Ford or something that has more color to it, you want to make sure you get a perfect color match. You also want to make sure that you get the proper finish. This one here is more of a satin finish. So you don't want to put flat or, or gloss black because even though we're going to clear coat it, it can still show the variation. So you want to match the, the actual finish of the paint as well as the color. And then we'll go ahead and hand paint that. We're going to have to kind of work our way around all of these letters here by hand, but we'll touch that up real nice. And then we'll clear coat it and restore it back to perfect. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is we need to get the trunk opened up so we can remove the liner so we can get to the studs that are holding it on so we can remove it and pop it off. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll open this up. With this liner here on this particular vehicle, you have these Phillips head little screws holding it in. I'm going to go ahead and take all that off so we can pop this off. But depending on your vehicle, it may be easier or may be a different method. So you'll just have to look for the particulars in your vehicle. But let's go ahead and take this off. We'll be right back. Once you get the screw completely out, then you can pull the little locking piece. will slide right out. This is the last one, and here we go. That will come down enough. Slide it over the latch. Yeah, just pull it right off. And then now we can go up under here and we can see what's holding it in right here. You can see the two studs right here. And it looks like it might just be epoxied in. Like they use those just for pretty much just setting the placement and then epoxied it. So I'm going to have to kind of tap them out to get that out, but we don't want to break it. Some vehicles, uh, like I know, for example, on the on the Lamborghini symbols, they're actually threaded because they are actually, they have little nuts holding them in place. So depending on your vehicle, it may be different. Here's a Lamborghini emblem from one of my other vehicles. And you can see here, this one here is actually threaded. So that one's easier because all you do is you just undo the, the uh, acorn nut and it slides right off. But every car is different. So you just need to look for your, for your vehicle and see the attachment method in order to be able to remove it. As I start to push on the stud, you'll see here, it's starting to come away. So what we're going to do is I'm going to push that and then I'm going to slide a little flathead screwdriver or one of those uh, clip tools for removing clips from the inside of your door liner and just grab underneath and just gently pull it up. You don't want to break it, so you want to be gentle. So this is what I'm going to be using here, one of these little fork tools for prying off the tabs. And as I lift it, I'm going to slide it underneath. You don't want to damage the paint, but you can see there the adhesive. You can see the adhesive starting to come up. You just want to work it out slowly. You don't want to damage anything. Just come up slowly. Now 
Now I can get my hand under there and just gently pull it up. Use this here and just kind of break some of that glue off that's holding it back. And just go ahead and lift it. Here it comes. There we go. Came right off. You can see the adhesive there on the back. And we'll reattach it when we put it back on. Next thing that I'm going to do, we're just going to wipe just wipe it and wash it off. I already went ahead and just kind of removed any remnants of the old clear coat. There was a couple spots, we took that off. So now we're just gonna go ahead, just wash this off. You don't wanna have any dirt, debris, any of that stuff. You can use a, a uh, detergent or even a soap. I'm just gonna use just some, some warm water, warm water in just my hand, cause this one here was not too bad, but I just wanna get off any residue and junk off of it. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and dry it off. And then we're going to go ahead and start applying the black on there so we can give a hit it with the clear coat. What I found was the best match for this shade of black on this Kia right here is this Canyon black right here, the Satin by Rust-Oleum, the two times ultra cover. So what I'm going to do, since I can't spray it, because obviously we have the letters on here, I'm just going to spray it into a little cup so I can get a brush and then touch up these areas. And then we'll let it dry and then clear coat it. I went ahead and sprayed it here into the cap. And then we're just gonna carefully take the brush and just touch this up. You wanna be careful that you don't hit the, the lettering. And then we're gonna blend it out real nice so that way it uh, fills it all in. So I'm gonna paint this. And then we'll be back. Everything is pretty much coated. What I'm doing now is just kind of fanning everything out and just kind of touching up a little bit like right here. You'll see there's a little edge right here that needs to be done. So we'll just take the brush, go right along there. I want to make sure you have a very steady hand for this. And then I'm just kind of just fanning everything out to blend it nice so that way it, it matches. You don't have any drastic changes. So just I'm spreading it on like that. Go a little bit up in here. And it's drying very nice, matching it very well. So I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and then we'll take it outside and spray it with the clear coat and see how it turns out. And then if it looks good, we'll put it back on. All the paint is dried. It's actually looking very good. So we're ready to hit it with a clear coat. Just going to use just a basic Rust-Oleum high gloss coating for this. Now, if you're dealing with an emblem similar to this one here, you would not hit it with a clear coat because you have the gold emblem in there as well. So you would have just used just a high gloss black for that. So you just want to be cognizant of the logo that you're working on um, or the emblem that uh, make sure that you really get the finish correct because you can see here if we would have hit this Lamborghini one with a clear coat, you have the bull which is not supposed to be as shiny as the background. So in that case, you would just do the background in a high gloss and then that would be the end of it. For this one here, for this Kia, it actually has a full clear coat that goes around the whole thing. So that's why we're going to go ahead and hit it with that. So let's go ahead and Get it ready, we'll spray it, let it dry, and then we'll be able to put it back on. Make sure you shake it very well for about a minute or two. What I've applied here is the last coat. And if you're using this here, this, this Rust-Oleum Triple Thick Glaze, it's actually very good to work with because with this, what you do is you want to apply two to three thin coats within a few minutes apart. 
in about five minutes it'll dry to touch and you can handle it in about 20 minutes now 24 hours is the maximum that you want to let it fully cure but this dries pretty quick so this is an easy one to work with so that was the third coat we're going to go ahead and let it dry and then we'll be back in about an hour and see how it looks and if it's ready we'll go ahead and put it on the vehicle It's been about two and a half hours since we gave the third and final coat on it, so it's nice and dry to touch. Actually turned out very nice. Nice, clear, glassy finish. Looks very factory. So we're going to go ahead and take it out to the vehicle, mount it back on, and uh, wrap up this video. Went ahead and put the emblem in. Put a little bit of a silicone adhesive in there as well to help bond that better since we had to break the initial bond when we took it out. Went ahead and pulled it in now to drying. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the liner. We're going to go ahead and put the liner in. We'll be right back, and then we'll close everything up and see how it looks. Looks good. Nice and shiny. Looks completely brand new. We'll get a close-up of it. That pretty much wraps up this video. I hope this video helped you out. I hope it was informative. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support, so please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.